Hey y'all, welcome to my garden. I'm out here collecting some herbs and uh, a little Swiss chard, a little rosemary, a little flat leaf parsley, a little curly parsley. Guess what I'm making today, y'all? This might surprise you a little bit because today I'm just making salads. But you know, just because you say the word salad doesn't mean it has to be lettuce. I'm making an oriental chicken salad. I'm making a sweet and sour bean salad. I'm making a broccoli salad. And Tracy, who is a fan of Paula's Home Cooking, thank you, Tracy, she shared with me her couscous recipe. So I hope y'all will join me in the kitchen because today it's all about salads. So I hope to see you inside. Okay, so who's hungry for salad? Like I said, that don't mean lettuce. The first salad that I'm gonna be making is an oriental chicken salad. I'm using four cooked boneless diced chicken breast. I'm gonna throw it in there with the rest of the things and one and a half cups of fresh snow peas. Now to this, I'm gonna add one and a fourth of a cup of bean sprouts and I'm gonna add a third of a cup, fourth of a cup, just a few chopped green onions or scallions. And then I'm gonna throw in a can of sliced water chestnuts. I love the crunch that it gives it. Now you'll wanna make sure that you drain those. And then I'm gonna add a fourth of a cup of diced celery. I'm just gonna kinda hand toss that now I'm gonna move right over here and I'm gonna make the dressing for it. Uh, there's several different ways that you can make dressing for an oriental chicken salad, but this is one that I've tried and tried and tried and everybody seems to like it a lot. I'm gonna use a fourth of a cup of oil, five teaspoons of soy sauce, one teaspoon of ground ginger. I'm gonna put in an eighth of a teaspoon of sugar a little salt, a little fresh ground pepper. Now I'm just gonna whisk this up and just drizzle it over our meat and vegetables. And we've got a wonderful, healthy salad that's got lots of flavor. So just that simple, we've got a meal. I want to just wash my hands real quickly and this move down to the other end of the counter because I'm going to make a salad that everybody loves and it's that good old broccoli salad. I'm going to take just one head of broccoli. I'm just going to cut them off so that it just yields us a bunch of little flowerettes just like that. And if some of them are big, I'll take them and cut them a little bit. All right, so I'm going to add eight ounces of cheddar cheese. The cheese really does give it a nice flavor. I'm going to add one diced purple onion, about a half a cup. My favorite ingredient in this broccoli salad is the raisins. To me, it's so incredibly good, but this is optional if you don't like raisins. I'm gonna add a half a cup of little cherry tomatoes that have been sliced in half. And then I'm gonna take six pieces of bacon. Now you can use as much bacon as you like. I really love what the bacon does to this salad. Just like that. I'm gonna throw that in the bowl and look at all those beautiful colors coming together. 
It uh, looks very, very appetizing. Now, the dressing is just as simple as the salad itself. I'm gonna start by mixing a cup of mayonnaise with two tablespoons of white vinegar, a fourth of a cup of sugar, and I'm just gonna whisk that together. Now I'm gonna add just a little bit of pepper and just a wee little bit of salt. And that's all it is to it. I'm just gonna pour that over all of our ingredients. Ham would be wonderful in it, or turkey, or chicken. So that's all it is for these two salads. They're great for lunch boxes. They're great to keep in the refrigerator for an afternoon snack for the children. And they're even great for a bedtime snack, especially during the summer, you know, when it's hot and you want just a little bite of something, but you don't want anything too heavy because you know you gotta put on that stinking swimsuit next weekend. These are perfect for that late night snack. Mmm, the broccoli is my favorite. And this chicken salad, you can eat plenty of that. It's not fattening at all. Mmm. When we come back, I wanna share with you a recipe that was sent in by another viewer. Her name is Loretta, and I think you're gonna like this little twist. It's really, really good. So I'll meet y'all back here in a minute. I'm gonna finish eating my broccoli salad and get cleaned up. And then we're moving on to the next one. Hey y'all, <laughs> welcome back. Today is all about salads. And I'm standing up here looking at a picture of two of the cutest little boys. Matthew's grandmother sent me in a salad recipe that I think you're gonna find wonderful and delicious. It's a sweet and sour bean salad. Isn't he so cute? He loves cooking with grandmama. And this little guy right here is Mason. And he's Loretta's next door neighbor's child. And they just love getting in the kitchen with Loretta and cooking and making memories together which warms my heart. You know how I feel about getting children in the kitchen. So thanks, Loretta. And thanks, Matthew. Let's move on down here, and I'm gonna show you the dressing that we're gonna serve over this bean salad. I'm gonna start with a cup and a half of apple cider vinegar. I'm gonna stir in two cups of sugar. a little pepper, about two teaspoons of salt. And you wanna make sure you don't forget that because you don't want this so sweet. I mean, you wanna kinda of counteract that sugar. All right, now I'm just gonna mix that up. And to these ingredients, I'm gonna add one can of tomato soup and we're using that straight up. We're not gonna dilute it. This kinda reminds me of a salad that I make called Copper Pennies using fresh carrots. And it's a very, very good dressing. All right. I'm gonna let this come to a bowl and then I'm gonna take it off the heat while I'm getting all the vegetables together. We're just gonna let it do its thing over here. I'm just gonna run the whisk through it a few times to kind of break down that soup. All right, now at this end of the counter, I've got all our vegetables. I'm gonna start with one can of red kidney beans that have been drained, one can of green beans drained, 
one can of waxed green beans that has been drained. And this next bean I'm going to add, some people may call it a butter bean, but to me it's a white lima. I just love these big, big old white lima butter beans in there. And so these are drained also. And now to this, I'm going to add a small jar of diced pimentos that has not been drained. I'm going to add one diced bell pepper, one large purple onion that's been sliced. We're just going to kind of feather that through like that. And then I'm going to add two cups of celery. And I'm going to slice it fairly thin. And you can see I'm starting with the end that's got the leaves because I love the leaves. I think they add texture and a really, really enticing look to the dish. But it also has a tremendous amount of flavor. OK, this looks like about two cups. So I'm going to toss this in the bowl. All right, this is getting hot over here. We just want to make sure it gets good and hot so that it will dilute that sugar. We want to make sure that sugar melts and it's not grainy when we put it in our salad. All right, to our vegetables now. I'm going to take a half a cup of just a regular salad oil and just pour it all over our vegetables. This has come to a bowl. Now we're going to take our hot liquid and we're going to pour it over our vegetables. It has a wonderful, wonderful flavor. So that's pretty good. Now I'm just going to toss this. And this salad is best chilled and marinated for I would say at least four hours overnight is even better. This would probably hold nicely in the refrigerator for up to two weeks, which is great. It's another one of those wonderful little TV snacks for night without going through your lips straight to your hips. Before I put it away, though, y'all, I've just got to taste a little bit. But it's not nearly going to be as flavorful right now as at will this time tomorrow. Mmm. It's good even hot and not marinated. So when you get ready to serve your bean salad, you can drain it, but don't throw away your liquid because you'll want to store your salad back in the marinade. When we come back, I'm going to be making another salad that was sent in by a viewer. I'm going to be making Tracy's salad. So I'll see y'all back here in the kitchen in just a few minutes. I've got one more salad to share with y'all. And this one, too, was sent in to me from a viewer and a fan and a friend. Her name is Tracy. Isn't she pretty? Tracy came to one of my cooking schools, and we had a wonderful time, and I was thrilled to see that Tracy wanted to share one of her recipes with me because I always love getting new recipes and talking to you girls out there. You know, I'm just nosy enough that I want to know what y'all are doing. So thanks, Tracy. You sure are pretty. All right, so let's get started with Tracy's couscous salad. We're going to start by preparing one package of Parmesan-flavored couscous. Now, you can find this ingredient in your rice and pasta section, and it probably won't take you any more than five or six minutes to cook it. Just go by the directions that are on the box. So I'm going to dump that in our bowl. This is another one of those dump recipes. I just love fixing these kind of things because they're so simple, and they're not intimidating, and they're delicious. Now, to our couscous, I'm going to add one can of drained chickpeas. 
I just love these in salads. I think they're so good. Again, doesn't have a lot of flavor, but I love the way it feels in my mouth. And to that, I'm gonna add a half a cup of crumbled up feta cheese. I do love feta. Now I'm gonna add about a fourth of a cup of fresh chopped parsley. I'm gonna add one diced red bell pepper, about a half of a large Vidalia onion that's been diced pretty nicely. You can see how fine that is. I'm gonna use one English cucumber that's been seeded and diced. All right, and in the bowl it goes. Now I'm gonna take one tomato and give it just a rough chop. And you'll wanna make sure that you put that skin side down on your board because if you try to go cut into that skin, the knife could slip on you because that skin's a little tough. All right, just like that, just a nice rough chop. All right, that gets it. All right, to make our dressing, we're gonna use a fourth of a cup of olive oil, the juice of two to three fresh limes, some fresh ground black pepper, and a little bit of salt. And if this is not salty enough, we can taste it and then correct our seasonings. Mmm, that smells real nice and and light but fresh. So we're just gonna pour that over our bowl of ingredients. Give it a toss. Get those chickpeas off the bottom, I love those. And that's all it is to it. Thank you, Tracy, so much for sharing your recipe with me. You know, I love dishes that are quick, simple, non-intimidating, and especially when they taste good. Mmm. It's so good. The feta cheese and the cucumbers and the tomatoes and the onions and the chickpeas and the couscous, they all go just right together. It's yummy, perfect for that hot summer day. Thanks, Tracy. I really do appreciate it. Come back to cooking school and I'll teach you something else, okay? <laughs> I'm kidding you. Listen, y'all don't go anywhere because when we come back, I've got some dressing tips for you. And that's not like putting on your clothes. It's like salad dressing. So I'll see y'all back in a minute. I want to share with y'all a basic Italian dressing recipe. I'm going to start with six tablespoons of olive oil, two tablespoons of white vinegar, two tablespoons of fresh chopped parsley, one tablespoon of fresh lemon juice, one teaspoon of dried basil, a pinch of oregano, and two cloves of fresh garlic minced. A little salt, a little pepper, all right now we're just going to stir this up. Okay, so that's your basic Italian dressing. So cold, this is delicious over a green salad. But you want to make it a little different for the next meal. Put it in a saucepan, heat it up, drizzle it over spinach. You'll be so surprised how that hot dressing is so very good. All right, now you've got a nice piece of fish that you want to cook tonight, but you don't want to fry it. All you have to do is drizzle 
some of your cold Italian dressing over it, put it in the oven, bake or broil it, and you have got a yummy, yummy meal. So who knew that Italian dressing could be so versatile? Even in my world, y'all, sometimes nothing will do but a salad. And I just love what I've prepared for y'all today. I think you're gonna love Tracy's couscous salad. Thank you again, Tracy. An oriental chicken salad, great time of day. It's just perfect for a warm summer day. And the broccoli salad is always in order. And what a nice little twist is this on a sweet and sour bean salad. I really think you're gonna like these if you're having a picnic, if you're going boating, or if you're just sitting on the back porch. I think you'll love these recipes. So until next time, y'all, it's time for me to say goodbye. But I always send y'all loving best dishes from my kitchen to yours.